After waiting more than three months, gubernatorial candidate Gwen Graham might finally get the public records she requested about the deaths of 12 people in a sweltering nursing home after Hurricane Irma. Graham, a Democrat, is seeking documents from Republican Gov. Rick Scott's office under the state's open records law about the deaths at the Rehabilitation Center at Hollywood Hills. Eight people died September. 13 after the air conditioning system lost power and temperatures soared at the home. Four more died later from exposure to the heat, the medical examiner ruled. In September, Graham requested extensive records including all communications surrounding Scott's private phone number given to nursing homes and all communications in the governor's office, the Agency for Health Care Administration, and Department of Children and Families concerning the deaths at the nursing home. Scott's office hasn't provided any documents in response to Graham's request, though it did release copious records in the aftermath of the deaths. Last week, Graham publicly complained about the delay, and Scott's office immediately responded with a cost estimate for the records, $1,200. U.S. San Marco Rubio said Thursday the Senate committee with jurisdiction over Medicare and Medicaid should investigate what led to the deaths of 14 residents of a Hollywood nursing home in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. U.S. Sen. Bill Nelson asked the Senate Finance Committee two weeks ago to U.S. Sen. Marco Rubio said Thursday the Senate Committee with Jurisdiction over Medicare and Medicaid should investigate what led to the deaths of 14 residents of a Hollywood nursing home in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. U.S. Sen. Bill Nelson asked the Senate Finance Committee two weeks ago to On Monday, Graham arrived at the Capitol with her checkbook. She wrote a personal check for $1,200. In a telephone interview, after sending out a news release announcing her payment for the records, Graham maintained that politics wasn't the issue. This is not about me. It's about the people of Florida deserving to have the information about the nursing home tragedy where 14 people lost their lives, she said. Scott's office declined to respond to Graham's concerns about the release of the records or why it's taken so long to produce them. As to whether the records have been assembled and how soon they will be released, Deputy Communications Director McKinley Lewis said via email, we're finalizing her request and will have it completed very soon. Brian Burgess, a former communications director for Scott who now works as a political consultant and publishes an online politics news site, slammed Graham. Shameless stunt to exploit the deaths of the elderly for political gain. She's wasting her money, attempting to invent controversy when she knows the nursing home failed to act, period. This is honestly sick that Shed do this, Burgess wrote on Twitter. Graham, a former congresswoman, is one of four Democrats seeking her party's nomination for the office Scott now holds. Term limits prevent Scott from seeking re-election.